What is up guys, it's your boy Titan Main Cacus, and today we have a quick video showcasing the absolute absurdity of the unbreakable aspect. It's doing some pretty crazy things in Destiny 2 once episode Revenant went live, and so let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at the unbreakable aspect. It's a void aspect and what it lets you do is that you can hold your grenade button to essentially consume your grenade. That's going to create a void shield around you that draws hostile fire and blocks a portion of incoming damage, gradually draining your grenade energy and granting an overshield over time. Now, releasing the grenade input or running out of energy releases a frontal blast from your shield that deals increased damage based on how much damage was blocked. And it also says combatants that come in contact with your shield are temporarily disoriented. So this was added within the final shape expansion and some people really liked it, some people really didn't, but it got some massive buffs this season. And mainly it's now going to grant grenade energy as you take damage. And that results in the clip you saw at the beginning of the video, as well as the clip you're seeing right now. Because you are granting grenade energy, it essentially refunds itself. It increases its own duration based on the amount of damage you are taking. So Unbreakable in PvE now lasts massively, massively longer. Already, that's pretty darn good but it lets you do some pretty crazy things. So, first off, Unbreakable now goes Insano style with the Spirit of the Bear. Now, this spawns on the Stoicism Exotic Titan Mark, and it says, move faster while guarding with the Unbreakable Shield, and damage blocked with Unbreakable is converted to super energy. Now, this also works the same way with the actual... Ursa Furiosa exotic gauntlets where this uh, intrinsic spirit is based on. So either the Ursa Furiosas or the Spirit of the Bear, what that lets you do is you're just going to be able to gen so much super energy now because it just lasts 10 times longer. In fact, it's a little bit crazier than that because what you can do is, you know, use something like, well, I actually have Spirit of Armamentarium here, which is crazy because that gives me a second grenade, which means another unbreakable usage. But because it gens your actual grenade energy, what you can do is sprint cancel. And the result is what you're seeing in this clip. I'm blocking and I'm essentially gaining grenade energy and almost regening my entire grenade and then I just sprint cancel and it doesn't use up unbreakable. If you sprint cancel, it will not do the frontal damage blast it's supposed to. Now, what this means is that you can come out and use unbreakable, block a bunch of incoming damage, sprint cancel and have, you know, all of your grenade energy back, if not most of your grenade energy back and you lost nothing essentially and then you just gained a bunch of super gen. You just gained a massive chunk of super energy without using up your entire grenade charge, right? Because you canceled it when it was at 80% charged because it was refunding so much energy for your grenade. So that is already crazy, right? Just like come out, block some damage, help someone get a revive, sprint cancel, don't lose your entire grenade charge and you've just gained a huge chunk of super energy. Crazy, crazy good. However, that's just one way you can actually use this aspect. The other way is what you saw at the beginning of the video, and that was when I was producing a crap ton of orbs. And this is really where this aspect gets crazy. So, unfortunately, this is not going to work with Prismatic. In fact, it barely works with the actual Void subclass. For whatever reason, this only works when you have the Sentinel Shield super equipped. But when you do, blocking with your unbreakable aspect will spawn orbs of power. And it will spawn a lot of orbs of power. It's essentially inheriting the ability to spawn orbs of power from blocking damage from your sentinel shield, which can block as you can see right here. But now, again, this might be a glitch, it might be intended with all the reworks to Titan and buffs, I'm not entirely sure, but again, the end result is that you can produce 
dozens of orbs. Like if you are in a high damage scenario, if you're fighting an actual boss or something, I, I mean, you can see from this clip, that is a lot of orb gen, a lot. Now, again, the downside of this is that you have to use the Void subclass and the Sentinel Shield Super for this to work. Now, importantly, it doesn't require Ursa Furiosa's or Spirit of the Bear. So you don't have to have uh, those equipped for the orb gen to work, but you obviously can put them on and it's just going to be better. But regardless, guys, again, the fact that you are gaining so much grenade energy and extending the duration of Unbreakable by massive, massive amounts, the Sprint Cancel strat to essentially get free super energy and the absolute absurdity of orb generation if you use Sentinel Shield, all of those things combined means that you might wanna try the Unbreakable aspect right now in Episode Revenant. It's doing some pretty crazy things. And so guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this interesting. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.